a low buddy this is part two of so not really order. I'm doing live commentary this time, see so which one which one people like. and they're pretty poorly upgraded. So I'm gonna see if I can get some more. Okay, these guys I've already got troops from, so you have to wait a little while to get from them. Right. When, it when it comes to troops, for me, I like the Swadians, which is this place, Kingdom Swadia, because they can make many good knights and sharpshooters, which are crossbowmen. I like to use the Nords because they can make Huskars, which are the best kind of infantry troop in the game. The Vagers way over here, they can make the best archers in the whole game, so they're really good. The Karagats have the best cavalry. These guys are these guys are basically Mongols, but they have the best cavalry. The Rodics. The Rodics have the best anti-cavalry troops, so they have spearmen and pikemen. They're Italians, so on some backstory on all the factions. From what I can tell, Kingdom of Swadia is a Polish sort of place. It's, a, it's, po it's Polish. This is the Nords, you know, Nordic, Nordic tribes and things. That's kind of obvious. These are Russians. They're Vagers. Okay. These are Mongolians and Tur early Turks. These are Arabians. The Saranid the Saranid Sultanate. And the. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. These are Italians. <laughs> you can tell by the name of this names of the cities. Hold on just a second. See here, Volucha. That sounds like an Italian na name for a city, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought so. All right. So let's go over here. Alright, six troops. You, do, you don't often get six troops. If you want to get more troops from, from cities, then we'll just battle them. Okay, so you see here, when there's battles going on, you can jump in randomly to help. And I see this guy here, Count, Count Montalor. He is a noble of the Kingdom of Spania. Now, right now, he's not very important. You can give out quests, you can help him in battle. But otherwise, it's not very important. And later on in the game, he, people like these nobles and things get very important. So that's to go help him. So you see, you come across a battle between Count Montour's party and yours. You decide to move in to help Count Montour's party or don't get involved. Don't get involved doesn't have any penalties, you just leave this screen and go about your way. But here you see you can move in to help. So we can charge or we can send our troops and, and allies to go or we can just leave. Leaving is bad because it reduces morale so you generally don't So we're gonna charge. Here's Count Montour, that they're completely pimped out because their nobles are really powerful. Don't challenge nobles in the beginning of the game. Oh, no, no. You'll, you'll be completely destroyed. Absolutely no chance. Alright, so here come the looters. This will be a fair easy battle because uh, the looters. If you saw the first video, then you know why. Yeah, you see here that speed bonus whenever I hit somebody and do damage. Being on a horse gives you a human gets advantage if your speed bonus will go up. So basically, speed bonus is however much extra damage you do because of how fast you're going or what type of attack you're doing. So you see here. Nords have pretty good archers, but they're, they're outclassed by Vagers immensely.
if I over to Hyatt. I think I'm gonna see if I can get some mercenaries from the cities because mercenaries are really expensive, but they're they're pretty good. Like you know, I see here, mercenary horsemen. Ah, uh, they're too expensive. You see, see here, this is a special person. This is the shabby. This is a a hero. I think they're called. Uh, last time I checked the wiki, uh, it's like a year, or so I don't really know. They're called the heroes, and uh, they're basically like people like you, so you can equip them with armor and stuff, and they can play vital roles in your party. And when you get taken a prisoner, they don't leave you. Yes, keep your distance. By the way, my apologies. I was really going to say that you looked a bit down on your luck. My luck, you could say that. It was my bad luck to be born into a weak father who married me off to a drunken layabout who beat me. It was my bad luck when I ran away from my husband to be taken by a group of bandits. It was my bad luck that the only one among them who was kind to me, who taught me to hunt and to fight, inspired the jealousy of the others who, who knifed him and forced him to run away again. But I do not count myself unlucky, stranger, no more than any other woman of Caladria. This fetid backwater, this dung heap among the nations pocketed by apes and jackals. Hmm. Are you by any chance looking for work? I might be. I could certainly use the money. But let, but let your followers know that I do not suffer louts and brutes. Anyone who misbehaves around me will, will quickly find an arrow in their gullet. I will hire you. Try not to shoot anyone on your first day. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready. So yeah, you'll see, um, when we go back to the party menu, you'll see that she'll be there and she can, she can offer her skills and things. The Shabby's always a good one to get at, at the beginning because she has the pathfinding skill, which increases your, your speed when you're on the map. So I'll show you here. See here? Oh, I can level up, actually. You see here, spotting, pathfinding, and tracking. She starts off with a fairly high pathfinding, so that's always good. And I'm going to level up now. So this is the character screen. So when you level up, you can have you have four attributes you can level. Strength increases your HP by one, and these an Iron Flash, Power Strike, Power Throw, and Power Draw can't be increased more than one third of this. So right now I can only go up to four. Agility gives you five extra proficiency points, which are these. I'll get into that in a second. And you know, it, and uh, you can only really develop Weapon Master, Shield, Athletics, Riding, and Horse Arch Horse Archery, Looting. Yeah, that's it. Uh, up to one third of agility. Intelligence gives you one extra skill point. Intelligence is really useful if you need more skill points. So you see here, intelligence also can be used for a lot of things. See so that I can't develop these skills past one third of intelligence trainer, tracking, tactics, pathfinding, spotting, inventory management, retrieval, surgery, first aid, engineer, and persuasion. Charisma increases. So right now I have a lot of strength and charisma, so I'm going to go for intelligence. And I'm going to increase my I'm gonna go with trainer because trainers are really good skills and lets your men level up without getting into battle. Generally you want to try and get that as early as possible. Okay. So far we're not doing too bad. I actually had a couple of other files that I was trying to do, like everyone messing up on the commentary, and then like I was taking taken prisoner by like sea raiders, which are the hardest kind of bandits. And, uh, it's kind of frustrating. What happened here? Oh, do you smell that salt, salt fish rotting flax and river mud? It smells so much out that I want to wrench. So you can say, tell me more, which which is like you know to it it's like positive like it's a, it sort of works like this is the positive response this is the neutral response and this is the negative response so tell me more makes you talk more the storm which is what i'm gonna pick you don't have time to chat just now it's sort of like talking to me on later this is like i read a later before i was married off and before i was taking my bandits i lived here Whatever we could in our private plot, plots. 
but in the open field we were only permitted to grow flax to be taken to start off and woven into linen. So we were always hungry and weak. I never had the courage to rebel. rebel. So that's that's a bit of a backstory on the things and sort of stating how the Nords were a bit more rough, I guess. Um, that could have just been those the Sargoth people. Sargoth is a city over here. It's 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 basically the capital of the Kingdom of the Nords because it's owned by King Ragnar, the king of Yeah, I think if you if you are playing this game, then if you didn't know, if you hold control and, and hold space, you'll speed up time like that. In the early game, I don't really recommend it because you can't react in case there's somebody coming after you. But you see, here I got a lot of troops now, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Then it's coming to slow down. You see, here, day's training is complete. Full experience is intense. Sometimes your troops will level up. But the issue is right now is that my character is a low level. You see, I'm level three. And these guys, this footman, you can say, tell me about yourself. It's level 14, and you can only train people that are of a lower level than you. See the militia. They're level nine. The recruits. They're level four. The Nord recruits are probably level four, but I'm not sure. Oh, level six. Well. The Shavi is level 1, I believe. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she, oh, she's level 2. So that means I can only train her right now. So, it's training. trainer is only really good once you level up a bit. But, right, but it's always good to invest the points while you still level up. But, yeah, let's get, let's get a, uh, let's, let's get a quest from this guy. Alright, so, it's always best to take the bottom one because that's, like, being nice to them. So, you carry Nobleman's Banner, but I do not recognize the guys. Still, it is always worthwhile to make the acquaintance of men who will one day be to be great warriors. See, what is it, right? This, so yeah, you can talk to him about like, any fights he's had. You can ask him about this. Well, it's a harsh world, and it's never a, And it's our lot to face harsh choices. Sometimes one must serve a tyrant to keep the peace, and sometimes a bit of rebellion keeps the kings honest. Circumstances are is up is all. You wish to be great to else, so yeah, how do you feel about your man? How long may he live? So yeah. You can, don't do this because that that basically means I want to fight you. But that's a really bad idea unless you have like more than 100 troops and you're So you can ask the enemy Oh, I like these ones where you collect the taxes because, well, I mean, you can develop your, your relation with this guy, right, by actually bringing him the tax money or you can just keep it for yourself. Which in the early game is a good idea to just keep it for yourself because it's, it's better. You only lose three relations, which can be easily regained very quickly. So you probably know that I'm the lord of the village of Finita. However, it has been months since Finita has delivered the tax and friends due to me, due to me as its rightful lord. Apparently the populace there is going to really think that I need someone to go there and remind them of their obligations and to persuade them if they won't listen. If you go there and raise the taxes they owe me, I will grant you one fifth of everything you collect. Fair offer, sir. Yeah, I agree with you. Says here just accepting the quest increases the rule. Increase the relation by one, but but if, if I but what I have an idea, I'm just gonna go take the money for myself because in the early game, it makes sense because you need the money to buy good equipment. You know what's funny right now is that it may seem like I can take on these lords, but the thing is that my troops are barely upgraded. I just have a bunch of recruits. And don't be tricked by like, uh, thinking that you that you can beat somebody because you have more like um, troops than them because their troops are obviously better. Right, so you see here, you know, getting a bunch of money. They, if, oh, that they want to fight. So, so they're coming to come take me down. This, they, they have a lot of farmers in this, and you only have three guys with you. So sometimes it's hard, depending on how long your guys are going. So here, these guys are all the crews, and there's one foot. Yeah, but, but, uh, you know, it's here that the recruits are sort of like, look like farmers. It sort of gives that sort of little background, uh, like showing how the recruits are actually basically farmers. I mean, farmers are farmers. They're not the farmers and the recruits. Your quick action is strong enough to put down the revolt. Surely anyone in the mind to run against you will think that will be So now we just keep putting the attacks in. Here it's getting foggy, this will affect your battles. I'm not sure if it affects speed, maybe a little bit, but in battles you'll barely be able to see if they've got 
You see, he got 3,124 dinars. That's a lot to be staying this part of the game. I mean, I'm still on my more. Fast ball is like chump change. But, you know, right now it's a lot of money. So I'm just gonna go spend it and start off. <laughs> see, okay, there's a tournament here. You can make even more money here. So what I'm gonna do is, we join this tournament, and here are all the people in here. Look at the shop you joined. It's pretty cool. You see all the people, right? These are just nameless guys. We see here there's also Zarina, I don't really know who that is, Tranton, I don't know who that is, Kratos, I don't know who that is, Yala Tiorger, Teregor is a noble, when there's Yarl, that means that it's a lord, and that's how to tell, in the first one it was always just lord, 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 so it's a bit confusing, but now I'm just going to see, I'm kind of just this tournament, it's, it starts off with a lot of people, but eventually goes down to a lot of and you can make bets, and if you win, uh, then you get too much money. Well, if you don't make any bets, you get two hundred dollars, which is not much. But if you make a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars bets, and everything you can get like three thousand plus the two hundred dollars. Yeah, I guess I can start another boat. You see here in the options, there's damage to player, damage to friends, combat AI. This is basically the difficulty. So you can go have more. I'm no matter what you guys do, I'm not gonna have more because I've done it before. It's it's way too hard. But you guys I guess you can ask before when you want half a quarter. The damage to friends, sure I'll go more if you guys really want it. And um, yeah. You guys can look for that. I only let this go to average, I'm not going to go to the same thing. This can go to the same thing. And I was going to stay like this. Because it's going to go to the same thing. Basically, the amount of people is cut in half every time. So basically, from 64 to 32. So the way it works is if you're defeated, but you manage to beat the four guys, then that means that you're going to stay. Because it'll say, like, kind of recognized your bravery and stuff. So you see here, if I can kill enough of these guys, if I get killed, I'll stay in the tournament. Damn, this guy's messing me up. Damn. Damn it. Did I kill enough guys? Come on, down. I beat enough people. Yes. So you see here, you have bested. You have been bested in the melee, but the master of ceremonies ways to create a recognition of your skill and bravery. Uh, you need to take part in the next round. So yeah. If, even if you lose, as long as you do well. Oh, well, yeah, we're already at the 1v1 stage. I find the 1v1s are really easy because you just, it's just, yeah. Yeah, you just saw that. It's so much easier because you don't have a horde of guys chasing you down. So let's see, there's Yarl Tiorger, Kratos, and we got Nameless people. No, I've never seen it go from... Why am I doing so much damage on this one? Damn. That's me. Okay, let me check it out. Oh, I'm going to take this one. Okay, I was thinking I got the damage. I guess they... Well, I think I know why, because these people are... Oh, look at that. Because these people are really good. Actually, well, two teams, two fighters. So basically... Oh my gosh, man, So basically, so basically, uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be me versus Valtteria Ogre then, because he killed one guy, but the other guy didn't. Mate, it could be Kratos. Oh yeah, it was called Yarl Ogre. So now basically, whoever wins this, wins the whole thing. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this, because we're gonna do that. Walk, hit, walk, hit. Oh, I just left my shield. Spam. 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 Hey. That, that's pretty much how you win. Alright, see, see here? You have won the tournament of Sargoth. You are filled with pride as the crowd cheers your name. You should go on the fame and glory. You earn a prize of $200. Well, over. 3,000. So now I have a lot of money.
I've never seen a wing. Wait, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna pass that up, that's for sure. 